Hello everyone, this is Senova and this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are ranking the 8 big box Vitala Solo games. Ooh. It's gonna be great! This is something that we have wanted to do for quite a while and, yes. and, and you people have been seemed like you've been excited for us to do it. I'm excited. In preparation, we, um, this weekend that just was here, we played six of the games in just three days. Even got time to squeeze in a couple other games. It was a intense weekend. It was. And they, they, we were four people and all of us had kind of learned all the rules so we didn't have to do full rules explanations for most of the games and, and, and get into them. We played almost 24 hours of board games in three days and most of that was with all the sort of games and now we're ready to do the ranking i'm gonna say this was kind of a hard ranking for me to do oh yeah I, I know i say that it's about all the lists with ranking that i do but this was so hard mm -hmm. i kind of have a very clear bottom yeah. and i have a very clear top yeah but and in, in the, the middle, middle there mm. uh, it this, so these are the ones, like the ones in the middle are the ones that could be different in yes. two weeks or yeah. a month. Or like I in two seconds. Really yeah. depending on like experiences and, and how you feel. And yeah, yeah yes. all of that. So I think we're just going to jump into it. Uh, we kind of hope that you, we're not going to do like deep explanations of the game. Probably going to talk a little bit about them. So if you want to know more about Vitala Soda games, uh, this might not be like a primer of uh what which one's easiest to begin with and yeah. all of that we might slip in some things here and there but it's not going to be a detailed video in that way i think i agree we will see First how much we off, ramble on i want to give a shout out to paul grogan <clears throat> that has helped us greatly in preparation for this weekend mm -hmm. with all his great rule explanations for this um, uh, yeah this games also the rule books are fantastic because i read the rule books because everybody has watched videos i like to then read the rule books and the rulebooks are really good. Also, a big shout out to Vitala Soda, of course, for making these fantastic games. Ingle Griffin, who has published five of the six games that we played. And also Paul Inkow, who has been the developer on most of these games and done a fantastic Perfect. job. Yes. So do you want to begin? Yes, uh, number eight is well, probably no surprise and probably a crossover because we don't own this game mm -hmm. anymore and it's Escape Plan. What? But this is one of Vitala Sorida's like easier games mm -hmm. and it's very clear to me that he should stick to his complicated <laughs> stuff because this was not great. Uh, we don't own it so we haven't played it in a while. This was not on on our agenda for this weekend mm -hmm. but overall still complicated rules somehow but not fun yeah i know many people like this it's my number eight as well uh it just wasn't for us and that is fine and uh, there's just so many games out there i i felt like this was as you said kind of trying not to be complex still being complex mm. kind of falling between yeah. two chairs yeah. and being be just a, a fine game but not one that we loved so much then we go straight onwards to my number seven mm -hmm. which we have played this weekend and it's co2 we have played the old edition or yes. like not the second, second chance, chance yeah. edition and uh, before we played it this weekend i we had only i had only played it once mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a semi co-op game it's where, absolutely yeah, semi -co -op. Uh, where you're trying to um do stuff that not like triggers the end of the world mm -hmm. but you still want to do the things that is best for you and yeah. and win the game i thought it was a great deal of fun i had fun when i played it i would like to try it again but i think um, some of yeah all the other games on this list are better oh, <laughs> obviously not the same plan no <laughs> because it's all, all of the other games yes. on this list yeah i'm so funny <laughs> yeah my number seven is also co2 and uh, i'm still not sure that semi co-op games is something that works uh because it makes games very weird uh, and it makes games feel weird and it makes you take weird decisions and being like oh i don't understand but this is something i do but now you're doing something with it uh, and, and i think it's a fine game i it's think i think this game didn't uh, shouldn't need to be a semi op game because most of the things i did was for my own benefit and sometimes that coincidentally uh, happened to be part of a plan mm -hmm. either way mm -hmm. or i got something a, a great value either way when i did something <coughs> to contribute so i think that 
do, do it need to be that but way? It's, it's kind of like you have this threat of the world going yeah. under mm -hmm. and then you still have to try this a lot of interaction because of that yeah. because you that can start cool. something and have a plan for it now we're going to be like oh i'm going to do that project now and all of these things it's a fine game it's it's one of the ones that i i don't really know if i need to play it again mm -hmm. but it's one that uh, is a fun one. We will see what happens when we hmm. have it in keep or call. Yes. My number six is The Gallerist. Mm -hmm. This is one of his games that I have never understood. Like, it's mind-boggling to me. It just doesn't... My, this is like... The, my brain is a square shape and this game is a, like a circle and they don't match. Uh, and this time, I finally got it. <laughs> but I still... Well, I kind of understood every move that I did that mm -hmm. was... It was so bad. <laughs> it was three hours so of misery poorly. for you, yeah. I was mad the entire time, but I, the, it's all on me. Yeah. Despite me having like the worst time of... Yeah, I the, the, the had weekend. the worst time of my weekend. The weekend yeah. yeah. Um, it was all on me, nothing mm -hmm. on the game. I understood, like, finally, okay, this is how you play the game. I yeah. couldn't do it, but I could think how you should have done it. That's the first step, and next yes. time you will then be yes. able to play and it. Yes, now it has grown on me. Mm -hmm. I like it more now than I did previously. Didn't feel that way when we played it. So no. let's go on to the one where I didn't feel like I did anything. And I feel like kind of that's the reason why they're down here. Like yeah, if we did better, because this is like the middle part of the yes. list for me, where it could have been scrambled mm. depending on, on my mood and my feeling for the game right now. So my number something, six, six. is going to be then On Mars. Okay, cool. Which is a fantastic game that I really, really like. <laughs> And all of this is kind of like this. All of these games are probably going to be like 8 or higher yeah. rated. But this one was one where I, I did nothing. Three and a half hours, I did nothing. Like one of our other friends, Martin, he was like, Oh, I'm not getting anything done. And then the ending is like, bloop, 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 did yeah. a lot of things. I was like, Second I, place. I have no, problem. no points. Yeah. I, I'm not doing anything <laughs> in this game. And it feels so horrible. Like, oh, what's the point of this game again? Oh, you're going to build some buildings? Ah, not going to do that. Oh, well, you're going to do this thing? Mm, not going to do that. I'm just going to be here and do some actions. Well, at least you didn't get like a third of the points of the winning player, which I did in the gallery. Yes. Because only... I actually did nothing. You did something. I got like half. Yeah. Like your you scoring, were... the cards you scored oh, were like double so my points. Yeah. Yeah, but, that, but almost... Fantastic game, yes. and, and this is probably just my experience with it this week, and that puts it in this spot. Yeah, to be uh, honest. Number five. Yes. Is Vinyos for me? Vinyos has also been one of his games that I think this was maybe like the second one that I've played. Uh, I his. think it's Ma. Oh, I'm not ah. sure. First was Kanban. Yeah. And oh, okay. then it's not the second one. I think it was Lisboa. Yeah. I think that was like the first. Didn't we play CO2 before Lisboa? I don't think so, because Maybe I think like Lisboa was the okay, one where we so got into the sort of I said. Yeah. It's a game that I've played. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but um, it's it's very punishing. Mm -hmm. And it's it's maybe why, well, all of his games are hard to manage. Yeah. But this especially, especially with the 2010 version that we played now. Yes. Oh my gosh, it melts <laughs> your brain and you feel like finally I got a decent wine and mm -hmm. you the next round you get no wine because all Bad of the weather, weather. or uh, yeah, but <clears throat> everything it costs money and you have to go to the bank to get the money that you need and sometimes someone is at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's just so hard, but it's very, very, uh, uh, it's a good game. I yeah. think I rather I prefer the 2016 version because it's a little nicer to me. Yeah. Mm. And my number five is also Vinyos, and and this was the other game where I did absolutely nothing. And this was one. And and sometimes we play games. Some people like, oh, I'm out of the game now. But this was one, and then you win. But this t this game, I was like in the I think after half of the game. I did a huge mistake and I said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the race now. And I had no way of getting back into the game after that. You tried. And, you yeah, I did my absolute best. Effort. And I, I think it's a fantastic game. I, I'm interested, like if we had time, we should have also played the 2016 version. Yeah. It's been a while since we played that. Yes. 2010 was the last time we played as well. And I'm excited to try that out because it is a bit, if you're like 2010 might be his tightest game. It's, I think it, it is. Yeah. I think like it is the the most 
oh, like getting your mind to understand what I it. did the entire game uh -huh. was sell my shitty wine yes. and then go collect the money from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> so you also didn't play very well no, in that game. No. But yeah, Winios, fantastic game. We just did horribly. Yes. And I'm excited to play it again. Yeah, and I that is was my takeaway from this weekend overall because mm -hmm. I had so much fun and yes. I thought I need a weekend like this again. Or not like a weekend. I yeah. just want to play all these games yes. again because now I feel like, oh, the next time I will... I would probably in four years. do four points better or something. <laughs> um, my number four is a weather machine, mm -hmm. and I think that um, this can uh, is the like wildest card in the mix because mm -hmm. it's the newest game. Yeah. So I think this can uh, both arise and fall depending on the next times that we play mm -hmm. it. Because I really like weather machine. It's a super cool puzzle. I think that he's borrowed some great mechanisms like uh, with the worker placement from a uh, galleries mm. and also the other game, the uh, Kanban. Thank you. Um, and I absolutely think it's a super cool game. It was our number one from last year, so obviously I, I love it. But compared to all his other games, because they are also super good, maybe that weather machine feels a little more samey to me, like all the things that okay. you're going through, um, than the other games. I, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind, but here it is now, like in the middle of the pack. My number four is a weather machine as well. Oh. Are we gonna do something now? Do you forgot? Oh, crossover, crossover dance. dance. I it's was a crossover dance. Actually bam, bam. predicting crossover a lot of crossovers dance. on this yeah. list. Uh, weather machine, I think, is really good. Go back and check like. Uh, Back to the Future, Johannes, talking about it in the review that we did about the yes. game. Uh, we gave it a 10 out of 10, I think, yeah. both of us. Fantastic game. Absolutely. And, and it's kind of like, hmm, it's kind of different from all the other games, but still, but still being like familiar, familiar if you know what I mean. Like yeah. it is, it has that like one worker which he loves, and, and the it has that moves a, around. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought you said the thief that moves around. Like <laughs> there's no thief in that game. <laughs> uh, thief. And then you have there's a lot of interaction, and there's kind of that kind of the factory or building the machines yeah. and putting the bots in might be one of the like biggest interaction parts of his games because mm -hmm. most of the time in, in the games we play like you have the kick out action in the galleries but mm -hmm. other than that it's kind of like the same but just harder than in worker placement games yeah. that is like oh no you got there like that's kind of only kanban which has mm -hmm. that uh, and this one but it's also have more of the interaction with the timing and all of that so mm -hmm. it's it might be one of his most interactive game even though all of his games are highly Very interactive, interactive. Uh, so yeah love it but a machine want to play it again sad we didn't get the time to play it because our brains were turning to much yes. uh top three then top uh, three. my number three my i didn't predict this coming on number three and it might be because i did so well in it this weekend but it's on mars and i did like all of these games have grown on me throughout the weekend i love them even more than before yes. and i didn't think that was even possible love it. uh but on mars i really this time understood and appreciated the uh, traveling between orbit and I like didn't. The, the what do, the the not orbit colony colony thank you orbit, like orbit and uh, and then you travel to the not orbit which is uh, <laughs> flim flam but uh, yeah because sometimes when you play this game you come to the orbit for example and mm -hmm. there's nothing to do because you've messed up yeah or um uh, all of your other like workers are left on the colony mm -hmm. because you messed up and this time it was really fun because I didn't mess up and mm. that was so fun. I still have a long way to go um, I think like to uh, plan early to getting mm. the the research what do you call it the scientists and yeah. the the upgraded buildings but uh, it has this um, tactical versus strategical decision because all of the time you're seeing like okay but what needs to be done now mm -hmm. what is my possibilities oh you did that thing now i have to rethink my whole like game plan Life. right now yes um yeah so fun yeah i um, i agree everything i talked about it earlier fantastic game my number three then is the gallerist I <laughs> we just switched yes. up those two. I yeah. liked the galleries the first time I played it, but I didn't really understand it. And then and the more I played it, like I played it maybe four or five times now, I, I really like it. I like the interaction of the kickout actions. I like the, the tickets that you need to collect to move these people into your gallery so that they will actually give you stuff so that you can use that on getting this. Like it's kind of most of the sort of games are 
kind of simple what you're doing and that is kind of where I what I was thinking about with Weather Machine mm. is more like stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like Gallerist is buy art cheap sell not cheap. Yeah, that's true. Kanban yeah. is make cards. Mm. Um, and yeah. yeah, on Mars is make a colony, super simple. Uh, but yeah, like you understand <laughs> what I mean, like yeah. it's a very like simple concept and there's only four actions uh, in, in the game. Uh, in, 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 but most of the, some of these actions are more actions, but yeah, like four actions in the gallery is uh, two or eight. There's four times two, eight uh, actions. Math. Mm, super duper fun. I, I enjoy like the timing of everything. Trying to, to jump into when somebody else is doing something with an artist before it gets too popular, so it's very cheap for you still to buy it. There's like a lot of nice things going on that I really enjoy. That is like the, with shares and stuff. I think that's why my brain might just, be boom, because it know. is kind of like it, it's kind of a, yes. a stock game because that you're putting stock uh, in this artwork instead. In the artwork, yeah. So top two time. Top two time. Uh, my number two is Kanban EV. It's yes. a fantastic game. I just love it. Mm -hmm. It took some time now uh, when we played it to be like, oh, how do I not get pe penalized by Sandra again? Uh, you do. Like, oh, that's, yeah, that's the you answer. Do. In that's true. And um, uh, oh, when you move there, oh, it's just going to jump right to the department that I suck in. Yes. That's that is great. Um, but it was still very fun. Uh, we kind of had a slow start because nobody was manufacturing cars. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was weird. But it was still super fun and like a super duper solid game that I just can't play forever. One thing I love about this game is the timing of the actions and the way that you move your workers from the top to the bottom. And uh, this is kind of like we also saw in a, a hidden gem for two, a couple of years watch, ago, Watch, yes. which has that, okay, but I want to move there now. Mm. But when I'm there now, then I have to move first next round, yeah. which means that these spots are still going to be taken. Mm. That's where I want to go. So I have to go after them, but then then I don't get to do the action I want to do now, but hopefully I get to jump up there and do the action yes. I want to do next time. But I also have to do that before that, so I have to do that and then something else in the mm. right order and then there and hope that Sam doesn't come and take away my stuff. And it, it's just like so much going on in this game which only has like a few actions to choose from, uh, which I think that's what I'm so good at. Taking these small things and making them complicated and making them just feel like it's singing in your brain and you're so having fun. so much fun brain before man. we go into the number one which because is... I guess this oh yeah is your I didn't say two. it I didn't yeah. say it it's my number I two I was just like uh, yeah Kanban EV yeah so number one is not going to be a, a chalker so you might all, might as well just click the off button but before you do that there's something that we would be very happy if you did if you like it if, or if you just tolerate us is that you can give us a victory point and Suno is ready with her tutorial on how that works yes we need victory points to win in the game of life and YouTube and you give us that by clicking the subscribe button down there you can even click the bell to get notifications when we post a new video thank so, you so number one there's really only one game left yes so you can say you're number one Lisboa! Yes, it's mine as well because that's the only Crossover one that's dance. left. And it's the only one it could be because it's it's one of my favorite games of all time. So what do you like about Lisboa? Like Everything. what is not to Bye. like. Yeah. Um, first of all, when you get these eight pages of rules like in your play raid, mm. what is this? And you get like these like recipes on how to get money and how to do stuff you feel like this is gonna be a hard game and our game now felt very different from the games that we played uh, of Lisboa before mm -hmm. because it suddenly felt very easy um we we did almost didn't produce until the end of the game it was yeah. super weird and we opened shops up very easily but that was like because of the rubble color and yeah. it was very easy to uh, build cheap buildings um but i had a great fun as always with lisboa and yeah it's my favorite one and i also love that like you have worker placement yeah i wouldn't call it that even though it's like one worker and you move it around in videos the galleries weather machine and kanban yeah and and then you have on mars which is also kind of like a worker placement ish yeah. game but just like a little bit in a different way mm. which makes this boa 
be a very different game from yes. that because it's card driven and you're going to have a hand of cards and you're going to choose the card from if when you get a new card you're going to choose it and with that one card i was like there's only four actions in the game one of them is six actions it's like what that's not four actions anymore now <laughs> so i remember we told us going around like saying oh it's a very simple game you just play a card you do what it says and then you draw a new card and that is like a very simple way to do it you play a card you can either place it here or here to place it here then you can choose one or two actions one of them is one action the other is six actions if you place it yeah, here, I think, yeah. I think I explained how to do an action to Morton about six times, <laughs> and he still kind of kept asking yeah. because um, it's a it's a weird yes. one to get your mm. mind around. But it's been my one of my favorite games since the first time I played it, and it's probably going to be that for a long time. I just love how everything works together. Love that you can go like this time. I, I did win. I, did, so I played it nine times now. I thought I was pretty good at it, but I only won twice. But it is uh, like I won now by basically getting money. Because money is going to be a point for every fine money you have. And this is one of those games where you can actually do that, do yeah. that as a strategy. It's not pity points at the end of the game. Like, oh, you get two points. There you go. I got like, I think, 15, 20 points in money. Yeah. And it was just like a fan fantastic experience and um, I know that people are going to ask or are wondering which Glossary game to start with yes and every time before we sat down to play a Lizarda game this uh, weekend I thought oh this might be the one and then we started playing it and just no nope, this is not the one nope, no 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 don't start with this and I can't really decide on which one I think it's the best I, to start I with. think maybe Winios 2016 yeah is one of the like, I feel like his designs, I was thinking I would see it more, but I feel like his designs has kind of gotten more and more complex. Mm. So, like, Weather Machine is way more complex than, for example, like, Windows, but Windows is so tight to first edition. But the 2016 version of Windows, I think, is really good. Uh, I think that might be, like, the yeah. simplest mm -hmm. one. Uh, Kanban, you can play with, like, nice Sandra. Uh, that so, is that really one is also one also, that yeah. is, is great to jump into. Uh, all in all, just ask questions about Lacerda in the comments. Yes. We love his designs cannot wait for new games coming out inventions coming to kickstarter or game found this year which is going to be amazing yeah. and that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed it i'm johannes i'm Cinema. and you've been watching board gaming ramblings and bye bye, bye.